Japan this fall. So congratulate those young people. And while we await the opening banner with the Seafair, or that's just past, I beg your pardon, the Alaska Airlines float as it works its way down the street. We want to bring in the third member of our broadcast team. She was busy with the coronation of Miss Seafair just a few moments ago. Our Rebecca Stevenson down on 4th Avenue. Hi, Rebecca. Hi there. Boy, it's a lot of fun here down on the road. It got really loud there for a minute when they came in with all the sirens and such. But, you know, there's such great floats coming up in this parade. Some of my favorites that I always look forward to every year. I'm going to throw out the dolls because they put on a great show. And yes. also, we've got some really great uh, parade floats on the way. I know we're looking forward to a casino float and such. There's, there's a great float on the way right now. We're looking at Alaska Airlines, Steve and Angela. Can you see those quite yet? Yes, we do. We do. They're looking good. A big group of them tonight. A big group. And, you know, we're going to be seeing the self-propelled propelled airplane that's going to be coming in just a minute. But let me tell you about what you're going to be seeing here from Alaska Airlines. Uh, there it is. There's that float I was talking about. It's getting an extra tug today from four-time Iditarod dog sled champion Martin Boozer and his canine team. Now, these athletes run... 1,100 miles in the great race from Anchorage to Nome and hold the record for the fastest winning time of eight days at 22 hours. The energy of these dogs looks amazing. They're running all over the place right now, Angela. I know. Are, are you sure the they're people. not pulling that plane? <laughs> they're celebrities. They're probably used to all this, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> now, I want to mention they're riding on Alaska Airlines' smallest seven-passenger plane or Alaska's employee legends, and these are the folks who receive the company's highest honor for customer service and are part of the reason that J.D. Power Associates ranked the airline highest in customer satisfaction among traditional network carriers three years in a row. Look at those airplane hats. Love it. Love we, it. We should note that all the folks that we see walking on the street right now with Alaska Airlines t-shirts are Alaska Airlines employees and partners and Good folks. They do lots of good work in this community. Here comes that sled dog. The name's Kinley. My Martin goodness. Boozer's kennel in um, Big Lake, Alaska. So Martin Boozer is going to have Kinley here running in the race soon? Well, probably in a couple years. Oh, she looks like she's ready to go right now, but so cute. She's darling. She is. How often does she eat a day? I don't know. How often does she eat, Pat? How often a day? Uh, yeah. Three times a day. A healthy meal, I take it. Very. The best that uh, oh, they you can are get. So cute. <laughs> They are so cute, Rebecca. <laughs> Adorable. These are the kind of little puppies you want to look forward to adopt because they, they look like they get a lot of exercise too, I'll tell you. Wow. They're lean. <laughs> well, big contention in this year's parade, as they should be. Again, this is Alaska Airlines' second year being the title sponsor of the Seafair Parade. Also part of this, uh, this group, we've got the friendly flight attendant drill team. They're going to be performing a routine with rolling luggage bags. Here they are. Let's take a look at them. <laughs> We're going to try to get one of those in an overhead compartment. There I know that's what's going to happen. They know how to do it. They're, they know how to do it. They're much better at that than uh, any of us. There I they are. You recognize the black eyed peas, Steve? <laughs> Actually, no. If it was Beatles, I might have a shot at it. Have you ever seen a routine to rolling luggage? I haven't. Uh, I gotta tell you, we've seen a lot, but I have not seen that. Now, if they were walking the entire parade route with a tray of Coca Colas on it, then I'd say we've really got something. <laughs> Look at this. This is an actual yeah, routine. Yeah, let's listen in. Seen. There you go. <laughs> they are Alaska. I know this. They're going to be tired from pulling I know. bags this by the time the, they get to the right, field. That's right. But they have the energy, and we're so 
excited to have a hometown company be the title sponsor of this year's parade, Alaska Airlines. They are shutting it down. <laughs> Here comes a Seafair award-winning float. It is the Horizon Air float. That's Alaska's sister company, Horizon Air, with Clark and Lewis Discover Horizon Air float. Leading them is the drill team, spinning lighted wands that are used to marshal in the planes. There you see those. Now, Steve and Angela, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't it Horizon Air that takes us here from Western Washington over to Eastern Washington? Yes, it on is. On a daily basis, yes. yes. You bet. Been on them many times. Here comes the drill team from Horizon. Again, all these are employees of Horizon Air, as we saw with Alaska Air just a couple moments ago. I know it seems to me the Horizon Air folks might be just a, oh, I don't know, a little more excited about all this. <laughs> Alaska was they were a little more parental company kind of. This is, I love these are the kids air. here. Yeah, doing a little air traffic controlling here. Mm -hmm. Might need a little bit of that on the parade route tonight. <laughs> well, this is what I like to see when I'm heading from Seattle over to Walla Walla to wine country. <laughs> right. They are really putting on quite a show. By the way, in the float, if and when the float gets here, being pulled by one of those trucks that we see out at the airport. I think they're dancing. They're having too much fun. Well, they, <laughs> well, they should. It's torchlight night after all. That's right. But in this float, you will see Sacagawea, the Native American guide who accompanied Clark and Lewis on their exploration of the Western United States. And then riding in the back, are the two heroes themselves, the Intrepid Explorers, and you have no doubt heard the commercials on the air 